And you know, to travel to Europe is not easy for Africans. So we had to find a way. We were together and happy as a family, but it was short-lived because after that, my husband died and left me with the children. I tried with the help of uh, church members. They were telling me I have to be strong. And uh, something came to my mind that I have to be strong for my children. When I came to Athens International Bible School, the first thing I noticed with the people here, instructors here, they were different. Uh, I'll give an example of Mr. Benny. When I met him, he has been like a father to me. He really helped me. It was during my healing days, and he really helped me to go through it. One day, I, my son, he, he kept on bringing people the small food I have, we have to share it. I told the, Mr. Ben the whole story about these boys who are staying in my house. And then the only thing Benny told me, I thought Benny, Benny was going to tell me that, no, you can't stay with them and you are a widow and that. But he told me that that is God working. Don't chase away that, those children. Take them as your own. And then I was like, wow. I was coming one day from Kifisia. I came out of the train station and I saw a group of Arabs. They were seated there with the children, men, women and children. I didn't know why they were there because there were so many and they used not to be there. So that day I passed and I went to my house. The next day I saw them. Again it was so cold. So I went and I saw my son. I said, now we have work to do. Now, not only small work, it's big work. I really grew up in a very difficult situation whereby food was just, uh, it wasn't a compass thing in my life and my family's life. So we, if we get it today, we don't know whether we are going to get it the next day. I used to call my grandmother mama and she told me that there's something good in giving so you should learn how to give don't just learn how to receive but learn how to give also <laughs> <laughs> 